willkommen zu meinem neuen Haus. <lacht> Just to let you guys know, the weather has gone from cold and windy, windish, to rainy and okay, to sunny. Now it's sunny outside. So an all veta jacket, bro. You need that all veta jacket here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, did you know your boy is a star? Well, that's how I felt at least, filming with Julian Bam in Aachen, Germany. So the whole purpose of my trip flying to Germany earlier this year was, <laughs> go figure, cats out the bag now, to go see Julian Bam and a few other people to be a part of the Man and Moon. So the journey was amazing. I flew to Germany, got off the plane, you know, to explore the city of Köln for a little bit, and then got picked up from my hotel the very next day, and I got to hang out with Julian Bam. The Man, the myth, the legend. Isn't that crazy? And what was insane, and what you'll find out through this video, I will give you guys kind of like what it was like during the behind the scenes, because I'm telling you, I was so giddy. I was like, man, how does he film these videos? How does he create these masterpieces? And let me tell y'all, it's a process. I'm with uh, all the legends here. Uh, John, Julian, Thomas, and Angelo. Man, it's very interesting seeing Germany without all the blurred out streets and stuff. <laughs> blur, like, everything blurred, censored and stuff. Because uh, GeoGuessr, like, it, it's, it's blurred out in uh, Google Maps. It's blurred out. Germany, most of Germany is blurred out. So like, I can't see anything. I'm like, let me play GeoGuessr in Germany. And then nothing. <laughs> but before we got too deep into filming, I wanted to make a video of my own. At least ask an interesting question. Because let's talk about tipping in America versus tipping in Germany. I was gonna go and film a whole video on this and then I wrote a script and it sounded too robotic. It didn't sound like me. I like freestyling, going off the top of the dome, which is what I'm doing right now. And yeah, I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and ask him while he's here. What do you think about tipping in Germany? Because in tipping in America, if you don't tip at a restaurant, right? Restaurants and tipping is what the, what the topic was. Well, people feel offended and they will mess your food up. Tipping culture in America and Germany and stuff like that. America, we have to tip because servers don't get paid enough. But in Germany, they don't have to. The servers get paid regardless. So, um, this is Julian Bam. He's uh, Germany's, <laughs> Germany's biggest YouTuber. And this is John as well. Um, also a big YouTuber from Germany. They both work together. And I was gonna ask these guys what their experiences were with tipping in Germany. Tipping? Um, like nah, what's... we don't do that. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, of course, in Germany, people expect that you tip. Mm -hmm. Maybe less than in other countries. Mm -hmm. But um, actually, we always tip, right? A minimum 10%. Mm -hmm. It goes up to 25%. It just depends, like, how the customer is and everything like this. But actually, we always tip. Oh, okay. Cool, of course, cool. many people don't tip. I think many... Uh, depends on the restaurant or the cab driver. Oh, Wherever you are, it depends if people expect it or not. Yeah. I think they don't expect it like you have to mm. give a tip, but um, no, people do tip. Okay, uh, yeah. but it's that's not cool. Like if you don't tip, you just, yeah, like you pissing your don't, water don't, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't do that. It's yeah, like, if like you, people get upset when like you don't tip in America. It's like because like they rely on those tips to live, but. Here I've heard in Germany, like they get paid a normal wage like everybody else. They at least make minimum wage and stuff. Uh, and a lot of times even more than that. And then the tips are like a bonus um, oh. and stuff, so, which is a, a really cool thing. Yeah, so uh, so I guess there's more incentive to tip here because you get treated better too, right? If you tip like um, a little bit better, like maybe next oh, time. I don't you know, if, if you order food, for, for example, mm -hmm. then you tip them. Sometimes they just don't expect and they're just like leaving and you're like, hey, sorry, here. And oh. they're like, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. In Singapore, if you do this, they don't expect it. It feels weird to tip oh. in Singapore. I feel like because they always show me the bill and it's like, oh, the tip is already here inside. Mm. So it's a different thing, different culture, right? That is true. That is true. It's kind of like Korea. Like they're gonna kind of give you, look, give you the craziest look if you tip them. Taxis are different though. I feel like most taxi drivers appreciate that. I got yelled at for not tipping a, a really bad server, like a bad server. Like they were like tired and really rude. Like I took me forever to try to get the bill. Like they forgot about me and stuff. And I'm like, hey, can I get the bill? I'm like, oh my God, hold on. And like they storm it off and stuff. I'm like, oh, God, damn. Oh, and then it's crazy when it's time to tip, they stand over you. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> 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 better tip. So uh, they give you the receipt, 
and they're like, make sure you sign your name right there. But they also point to the tip too. They're like, <laughs> yeah, and they watch you. I'm like, oh my God. We're getting ready to shoot, you know, my little scene and whatnot. And uh, my nose started bleeding profusely. Not profusely, but like it dripped blood. It's, it's, it's happening right now, I can feel it. And uh, I didn't want it to get on the shirt. So it's on the ground a little bit and getting some tissues. So clean up a little bit, throw it in the grass and get on to shooting. <laughs> I even have my camera propped up here so I could like show the, the scene of me changing, but um, you know, I'm gonna have to cut it real quick. Hey, Joey, don't have tissues? It's no. a problem, I think. Oh, it's all good. It's all it's good. good. Does it look bad? No, no, I don't see anything. See anything? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I think I think it's fine. I, don't, I think it's it stopped, but it was like a little drop, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what does it look like? It looks good. <laughs> now, I didn't know exactly what to expect, but this was definitely one of the best moments of my life. I got to witness how they did their production behind all of their videos, IRL. Insane. And I was a part of it. So, Freunde, da sind wir wieder. James ist gesettet als American Tourist. Deutsche Fahne. Wow, these Germans are crazy. Interesting. <laughs> 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 Das ist gut. Ja. Und da kannst du vielleicht hier stützen. Ein bisschen höher. Ein bisschen höher. Nee, nee, alles gut. Nicht mehr bewegen. Das ist gut. Okay, so. Das ist gut. Das ist gut. Wenn es fällt, okay. Ja, ja. Freunde, das hier ist übrigens ein sogenannter Skeleton-Dreh heute. Oh, sorry. Ein sogenannter Skeleton-Dreh. Eine ganz, ganz kleine Crew. Ganz, ganz kleine Crew. Ja, du kannst einfach... Das ist alles ein bisschen wie heute. Like you're trying to read the <laughs> we all set? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so down and then up. Yeah. Right. Right, we have someone yeah. in the background. Cigar. Yeah. All right. Cameras rolling. Oh, it's pretty geil, yeah. Funny aus? Ja. Ja, wir wachsen. Ja, genau. Now, well, now when you like taking down a map, yeah. just like talk, just say the sentence, uh, where is Antonio Straße? And then you're looking up. Okay. Then, oh, okay, okay, cool. All right, I got you, I got you. Cameras rolling and Angelo can machen. Go. Where the hell is Antonio Straße? Yeah, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Maybe less. Move over the body. Oh, yeah, the body. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just like Antonio Strasser. Antonio Strasser. Antonio Strasser. Antonio Strasser. Antonio Strasser. And go. Where the hell is Antonio Strasser? That's one bit too few. Okay. The acting was good. Um, but the one before was better. It's right or four. Yeah, it's right or four. Yeah. Okay, so we got one? Yes. Okay, now you're saying. This city is crazy. This city is fucked up. This city is crazy. This city is crazy. This city is crazy. This city is crazy. Man! Oh, yeah. This city is crazy. Let's try this. Man! This city is crazy. Y'all, I was so nervous. I had one line, bro. I had one line. How did I mess up one line? So
so many times. Bro, we were outside filming for probably three hours because of my goofy butt, right? Julian Bam and his team and myself sat down for like, you know, maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes, trying to figure out what I had to say. We wanted to make it a little goofy or whatever. Yeah, you shouldn't laugh, you're like too happy. Oh, oh. There's a fucking ghost over there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, so let's break some a little bit. So you're starting with, okay, this city is, and done like then like all those adge adject adjective adjectives yeah 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 adjectives that makes it even high, big, bigger the, the last word Julian Bam bro he is a character he is hilarious he was giving me examples on how to say the lines it's like bro you gotta put more emotion into it more more power into it you gotta be like this you gotta be like Samuel Jackson yeah, yeah. so we try to end with mother fuck. Oh, yeah, it's a classic motherfucker. Yeah, mother motherfucker. Mother yeah. Motherfucker. The Ford is motherfucker. This city is. Holy grail. It's a bit like the Samuel L. Jackson. Like, motherfucker. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. 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 Holy Santa Monica Barbara, the motherfucker. Yeah, something like that. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Oh man, I gotta think of something off the top. Uh, we came up with a little saying and stuff like that. By the power of the kids of Atlantic City. What the fuck? Obviously, that day was longer than that. But you get my point? So I had to like say it and make it sound natural. And what I realized is with a lot of people that do acting and stuff like that, bro, how many takes they gotta make to get it right. Oh my god, in the name of baby Jesus and the holy grail of all you born kids in Santa for money, cuz what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to think of something like I swear all the time, so I'm like I'm just trying to think of something that rolls off the tongue, because um, like it'll be something different every time I shoot. <laughs> Yeah. What the uh, fuck? Like, like, like this close? Like, is there a baby that I need to feed right now? Baby Jesus, the whole of all new born kids all around Royal McDonald and Monica State City. Okay, we'll back and do it tonight. Go. The name of the okay. And the name of the Holy Grail and all the kids in Atlantic City. What the fuck? The name of baby Jesus and the Holy Grail. Oh, yeah, 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 the name of baby Jesus and the Holy Grail. The thing is, Julian Bam and his team, they are perfectionists, bro. They will not settle for anything less than perfect, which is good. That is exactly why all of their projects come out immaculate, because they'll sit there for hours, bro. They got to sit there for four hours and get the perfect shot. They'll sit there for four hours and get the perfect shot, okay? Which makes sense. That is the cost of quality. Baby Jesus and the, the Holy Grail and all the kids in Atlantic City. Hello? Um, all newborn kids. All newborn kids. All newborn kids of Atlantic City? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. And go. In the name of baby Jesus, all the newborn kids of Atlantic City. What the fuck? Oh, I messed it up. I messed it up. Let me read, let me read that again. Yeah. Let me read that again. I forgot. My brain. <laughs> baby Jesus and the Holy Grail of all newborn kids of Atlantic City. Okay, I got it. And the holy grail, that's the part I can get. And take your time, it's like, it's, you're it's getting guttural. attention. It's like, in the name of baby Jesus, you're still watching this shit, this shit show. Yeah. And the holy grail of all newborn kids in Atlantic City? What the? What the fuck? Yeah. Like a yeah. bit cartoonish, you know? Yeah, cartoonish, all right, all right. Can I see it one more time? Yeah, sure. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There is something that you would, like, do different because of your mother language. Is there something that we really Yeah, that's a good question. Um, because maybe it flows better when you put a little word there and here, or is it? It, it flows. I'm just I'm just forgetting the middle okay. part of that because it's like a, a, a all newborn kids oh, of Atlantis. Okay, the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail part, yeah. The Holy Grail, in the name of baby Jesus, and the Holy Grail of all newborn kids of Atlantic City. That's the, that's the part. It's the I Holy think, Grail part. Yeah. I think I can. you can also really like talk slower. Because you always start like in the name of baby Jesus, it's like in the name of baby Jesus, blah blah blah, and in people the name needs, of baby yeah, Jesus. it needs to feel like the sentence is never stopping. Yeah, you know? you're right, you're right, you're right. Ba 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 the name of baby Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the name of baby Jesus and all, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the name of baby Jesus and all kids from the oh, oh but the, the special was good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was windy. It was crazy, though. Elements were just trying to beat us, man. I mean, we had to move quite a bit over there because I'm not sure if you guys saw, but we were filming by the Aachen Stadium, which was cool. But as we were filming, there were groups of people that were noticing that we were filming there. And it was funny because they're like, is that James and Julian Bam? What the freak? What is happening? It was like a rip in time. Wait, we can start that again because I'm missing the whole 
Yeah. All yeah. newborn kids. All newborn kids. All newborn kids. Perfect. Perfect. In the name of baby Jesus and the Holy Grail and all kids of Atlantic City, what the fuck? Oh, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> fuck! Why do I keep looking down? Let me look. I'm looking right there. I'm looking right. I'm not moving. Right there. Right there. In the name of baby Jesus and the Holy Grail of all newborn kids of Atlantic City, what the fuck? Perfect. Nice. You're an actor now. Yeah. Yeah. It's official. How's the wind? Is the wind better? Maybe. Can now, as you can imagine, I have to do with all of that filming. I was tired. Okay, I was tired. So naturally, I went back to the hotel, busted out the old iPad, and tried to watch some movies and TV shows on Netflix. But the problem is, in Germany and in any other country, when you try to do that, you get new options and lose the old. Why well, can't I have it all? And that is where we bring in the sponsor for today's video, NordVPN. If you guys don't know, NordVPN is a virtual private network and one of the most impressive things about it is it allows you to consume content from anywhere in the world from your location. Basically, you can tap on a location in NordVPN, be in that location while being in your location. Isn't that crazy? So I wanted to watch this anime called Monster and it's based in Germany, but it's only available in America and a select few other countries. So when I went to Germany, and to my dismay, Monster was not available. So I had to go ahead and hop on NordVPN, which I have been using for a year plus now, and boom, all of a sudden, I used a server from America. I was now able to consume the content. So this could be you as well. If you guys have favorite TV shows or things you're curious about that you don't have access to in your country, all you have to do is sign up for a plan with NordVPN. And if you sign up with a two-year plan using my link, which will be provided in the top of the description down below, you will get an additional four months free okay over the uh, over the over the shoulder shot three two one go yeah like this Spanish boot right this <laughs> maybe more movement like oh. yeah yeah okay cool I was like what the, <laughs> where is this thing <laughs> but yeah it would be a little a little crazy a little walking Damn, you guys, you have you had to do this with like a bunch of people too. Like, how, how often does that happen? Do the people normally got, probably get their lines like, boom, boom, boom? No. Yeah, it's, uh, totally different. Really? Some are faster. Some, some are like slower and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. That's insane. Holy shit. Yeah. Bah. Holy fuck. But if you do this for the first time, it's always like this. Like yeah. Day, and then like so many people are all watching you and like now, and you're like, uh. But oh no. Yeah. <laughs> even for us. So we have like sometimes we have, we have to retake the yeah. shot so many times. So that sometimes. makes sense. I mean, it's, there's a lot going on, and then people are like, "Oh my god!" Have you had like crowds form while you're shooting and stuff before? Like, sometimes. oh damn! But you're like, we still gotta get the shot. Say your lines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You did it! Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh man, that thing held on. Oh yeah! <laughs> All right, so I'm about to try this uh, iced tea. This is, this is his. So uh, I'm about to try this. It's supposed to be cola, cola gummies. Cola gums is what it says. We're gonna try this and see what it tastes like, man. American tries uh, German iced tea. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> mm. Mm. This is good. Like a, oh my gosh. Ooh, oh, that looks, that looks icy. Ice mint raspberry. Ice mint raspberry, oh my gosh. Let me go ahead and uh, this here. Uh, and then this one. Okay, we got another one. This one looks, uh, looks a little bit more like John. <laughs> well, I'll try this one. This is a uh, ice mint, mint raspberry. See. That one was good. It tasted like a, like a really like like a rounded off blend of like a cola and a gummy flavor mixed together like those little Coca-Cola gummy bottles. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. 
Oh my God. <laughs> um, how do I explain this? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, it definitely has mint in it for sure. It's like a ras, ras, I don't want to say the same thing that's on the can. There's these breath mints, right? Have you had Altoids before? Yeah, Altoids, like they're like, uh, oh man, you guys probably don't even know what that is either. Uh, oh, what, what's, what, okay. Um, there are these like breath mint candies that they had a long time ago and they had like little pieces of like flavor of something in them. Like, uh, man, do you know what I'm talking about, Bobby? I mean, I, I know the name. Like, oh my gosh, yeah, never mind. I would have to like, now I have to figure out a way to compare it. It's like a raspberry pop tart, basically. A, a raspberry mint pop tart. Or not pop tart, uh, popsicle. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> raspberry mint popsicle. It's that's what it tastes like. A popsicle. <laughs> He's like, yo! A <laughs> pastry. This tastes like bread. Yeah. <laughs> it has a refreshing aftertaste. That's that's the biggest thing. The other one doesn't have the kick like this one has. It's like, oh, wow. <laughs> Sends a chill down your spine a little bit. What was that word like we learned earlier? Like that, like the uh, the weird one where it's like uh, frightened. I like this one a lot. This one's really good, really good. And this is one of those drinks too. The more you drink it, the better it gets, you know? Oh shit, strawberry stripes kiwi. Ooh, so this is probably like, it looks like a Jolly Rancher on the can of this. So this is the Strawberry Stripes Kiwi flavor. Julian Babbage. <laughs> I mean, all of them were, but anyways. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, oh, this is, oh man. So I was gonna say this tastes like, it doesn't taste like a Jolly Rancher at all. It's, it's the beginning of it does but it basically takes, tastes more like kiwi. Like it starts off tasting like strawberry, but the, the aftertaste is a strong kiwi. Jesus, this is good. Out of all three of these, hmm. Yeah, this is probably the best one. The raspberry one is like my second favorite one. And the cola one is really good, but I don't know. This is, there's some stiff competition here, man. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the video. I really appreciate all of you guys that have supported me up to this point. Um, this whole entire year has been absolutely incredible. Uh, I will be having a bunch of vlogs from this most recent trip releasing very soon. I know a lot of people have been asking me when they're gonna drop, so just have some patience and those will drop. But I really, I'm at a loss of words. You guys have done so much for me. Uh, thank you so much, Julian Bam. Uh, Thomas, every single person who's had a part, a part to play in the project, um, all of you guys for um, even considering putting me in the project and whatnot, and then of course all of you, my wonderful subscribers that have supported me for all these years. There's a lot more to come in the in the near future and the far future as well, um, and we're gonna ride this until the wheels fall off, guys. So um, it really it brings a warm fuzzy feeling to this uh, American's heart, man, that you guys have supported me this long. And, um, man, I, I get teary eyed thinking about, um, how far we've come, man. And, um, I, while, while my German's still not the best and I don't understand everything, I've made a lot of improvement over the years and that's only been because of you guys. So thank you guys so much. Um, and I will see you very soon.